QR code that we're doing in school. That sounds um, amazing. Did you know that QR codes, by the way, stand for quick response? I did not know that. I learned that from Wikipedia, <laughs> where I learned a lot of my information. Wikipedia and is now an acceptable source. Did you know that? It is? Oh, yes. good. I'm going to have my students using it for a project today. <laughs> it's official. <laughs> Great. Anyway, so we're going to talk a little bit about QR codes. And um, what is it? we use QR codes, by the way, basically the idea that kids can scan on their phone a code so to, to access something. So, for example, our first Mishmar program, so we had 300 kids signing up for like 10 different Mishmar um, there's well, that's oh, don't worry, everyone. There's our and, and by doing on the QR code, they can scan on their phone and they can sign up for the oh. Mishmar of their choice and automatically feed to a Google form. And basically, they've scheduled themselves for Mishmar. And what makes it cool with the QR code is that kids are using their own device and they're just scanning and it's quick and it's fun and it's easy. So but that's why we basically. Rabbi Vitinsky, I also love that the kids can sign up for the Mishmar of their choice. I love student voice and choice there. Absolutely. I mean, that's the whole point here. That yeah. QR code is letting them interact and make decisions that are automatically broadcast to everyone so that they can create these Mishmars basically in seconds that they're choosing where to go. We did this also for the Chuba program this year. And one of the coolest things I saw was this is a great example where a kid who, ex who, who excels as an individual in a given subject can also give back to the community. So we have here, check out this peer tutoring form, QR code. Oh, so that's look awesome. here, what we have going on is, let's say I'm good in biology, I'm good in math, I'm good in English. I excel in that area. I love teaching others.